Imagine a continent powered not by tangled wires and fragile infrastructure, but by invisible waves pulsing with energy. Across Africa, millions live without reliable electricity, their daily lives constrained by darkness and diesel fumes. Power outages are common, and in many rural areas, the grid never arrived at all. But what if power could leap across space, untethered by cables and towers? What if light, heat, and motion could be delivered wirelessly, even to the most remote village? This is not a scene from a science fiction movie. It's a transformation happening right now. Africa is stepping boldly into a new era of energy independence. The foundation of this revolution is wireless power transmission, a technology that seemed far-fetched only a decade ago. Now, it is being deployed across the continent with remarkable results. Wireless energy offers freedom from the burdens of building and maintaining expensive power lines. Instead of digging trenches and stringing cables across mountains and deserts, energy can travel through the air. This method, once experimental, is now being refined and scaled to power homes, schools, clinics, and industries. It's a game-changer for Africa's energy future. At the heart of this system is a principle known for over a century, transmitting power through electromagnetic waves. Nikola Tesla dreamed of a world powered wirelessly, but the technology wasn't ready then. Today, it is. Wireless power transmission works by converting electricity into high-frequency signals. These signals travel through the air and are captured by receivers tuned to pick them up. Once received, the signals are converted back into usable electricity. One common method uses resonant inductive coupling, where magnetic fields transfer energy between coils. Another technique involves microwave power beaming, which sends focused energy through space. Both methods have their pros and cons, but each bypasses the need for physical connections. Africa's vast geography and scattered populations make traditional grids inefficient and costly. This is where wireless power shines, it doesn't care about distance or terrain. From the dense forests of the Congo to the highlands of Ethiopia, this technology travels without boundaries. With just a transmitter and a receiver, entire communities can be illuminated. Imagine solar farms sending power across miles to distant villages without a single cable in sight. That's exactly what's beginning to happen in parts of Africa. Zimbabwe, Ghana, and Kenya are leading the way, testing pilot projects in both urban and rural zones. Maxwell Chikumbutso, a Zimbabwean inventor, has played a pivotal role in advancing this movement. His wireless power devices are being tested in homes and hospitals, providing clean energy instantly. No fuel, no wires, just pure, invisible electricity moving through space. For decades, Africa has struggled with underdeveloped electrical grids inherited from colonial designs. They were never meant to serve everyone, only key economic zones. Now, a new system is emerging, built by Africans for Africans. This wireless grid represents a leap, not a step. It doesn't just improve the old model, it replaces it entirely. The implications are vast. A clinic that once depended on candlelight can now power refrigeration for vaccines. A school in a distant savanna can run lights, projectors, and computers without waiting for grid expansion. A rural entrepreneur can start a business with tools powered wirelessly from a distant solar station. And the environment benefits too, wireless systems can be powered sustainably, with no emissions. Solar, wind, and kinetic energy can feed wireless grids bringing green energy where it's needed most. Children no longer have to study by kerosene lamps that damage their lungs. Women no longer walk hours to charge mobile phones at diesel-powered kiosks. Electricity flows freely, changing lives with each beam and pulse. It also creates new jobs, technicians, engineers, and innovators are emerging to build and maintain these systems. African universities are introducing programs focused on wireless energy engineering. Startups and NGOs are partnering with governments to expand pilot programs into full deployments. The momentum is building, and so are the benefits. Energy poverty, long a stubborn challenge, is beginning to fade. With power comes opportunity, access to information, communication, and enterprise. Healthcare improves when machines and lighting are consistent and reliable. Education thrives when classrooms are electrified and connected. 
The economy grows as businesses extend their hours and productivity increases. And all of it is happening without laying a single kilometer of copper wire. Of course, this technology isn't without its hurdles. Initial costs are high, and infrastructure for distribution still needs investment. Regulations and standards must be created to ensure safety and efficiency. But the potential far outweighs the challenges. Already, wireless systems are outperforming outdated minigrids in several pilot regions. Communities once left in the dark are now powered in real time. Where diesel generators used to hum, silence now reigns, replaced by clean, invisible power. Children play under bright lights, and markets buzz into the night. Farmers power irrigation systems that once ran only during the day. Wireless energy has arrived, and it's spreading. The early data shows rising school attendance, better healthcare outcomes, and economic resilience. The wireless power grid is not a luxury. It is becoming a necessity. In places where laying cable would take years, wireless energy arrives in days. Africa's geography, once a barrier, is now irrelevant. Mountains, rivers, and deserts no longer prevent energy from flowing. The dream of universal electrification is now within reach. This is not just an engineering feat. It's a social and economic transformation. People are no longer waiting for the grid to come to them. They are building a new kind of grid, wireless, decentralized, and African. It's a story of innovation born from necessity, turned into opportunity. And this is just the beginning. With further investment and scaling, wireless power could reach every corner of the continent. From small island nations to vast inland territories, the potential is immense. Even refugee camps and emergency zones can benefit instantly from this technology. Imagine deploying a transmitter and instantly powering a hospital tent or water filtration system. In disaster zones, wireless power can restore hope as quickly as it restores light. No poles to raise, no wires to string, just energy flowing. And the knowledge to make it all work is growing within Africa itself. Engineers are trained locally, and manufacturing is starting to shift to regional hubs. This reduces dependency on foreign aid and imported solutions. It builds self-reliance and strengthens local economies. Wireless power becomes more than a technology, it becomes a catalyst for sovereignty. In the coming years, this grid could evolve to become a continental backbone. A mesh of transmitters and receivers crisscrossing Africa with sustainable, scalable energy. Smart villages, smart cities, and smart agriculture all linked by invisible electricity. What once seemed impossible now feels inevitable. Africa is not following in the footsteps of the developed world. It is forging a new path. A path defined by innovation, resilience, and leapfrogging old systems. And at its core is the simplest, most powerful idea of all freedom. Freedom from the grid. Freedom from fossil fuels. Freedom from energy poverty. Freedom to live, to learn, to heal, and to build. And it all begins with power, wireless power. Flowing not just through wires, but through hope, through vision, and through the air. Scaling this technology across Africa requires more than ambition. It demands coordination, investment, and vision. While wireless power offers a breakthrough, it is still in its early stages of mass implementation. One of the major challenges is building the manufacturing capacity to produce transmitters and receivers at scale. Many of the components are currently imported, which increases costs and slows down deployment. But local entrepreneurs are stepping up, establishing small-scale factories and innovation hubs. These hubs are not only producing hardware, but also training the next generation of energy innovators. Universities in Nigeria, Kenya, and Rwanda are offering courses in wireless energy systems. Students are building prototypes, testing designs, and contributing to real-world deployments. This homegrown talent is vital for the technology's long-term sustainability. Another barrier is the need for standardized regulation and safety protocols. Wireless energy, if mismanaged, can interfere with communication systems or pose health risks. African Union energy councils are collaborating with scientists to develop clear, continent-wide standards. International partners like the IEEE and IRENA are also involved, providing frameworks and technical support. 
governments must now move from pilot-friendly policies to long-term infrastructure strategies. Subsidies, tax breaks, and innovation grants are being discussed as tools to speed up adoption. Private companies are also entering the space, sensing both impact and opportunity. Startups focused on rural electrification are shifting from solar panels to wireless solutions. Their pilot projects are proving that decentralized wireless grids can work efficiently and safely. In northern Uganda, one startup powered 12 villages using three main transmitters and dozens of micro-receivers. The result was 24-7 electricity for more than 8,000 residents within six months of launch. In Tanzania, wireless systems are powering water pumps and refrigeration units in off-grid agricultural zones. Farmers now irrigate fields on schedules no longer, dependent on fuel deliveries or erratic weather. Post-harvest losses have dropped, incomes have increased, and entire communities have stabilized. In the Sahel, Solar-powered wireless systems are helping fight desertification by enabling sustainable agriculture. When energy is available, everything becomes possible, from storing food to running weather sensors. In healthcare, the benefits are equally profound. Clinics that once operated only during daylight now run around the clock. Vaccines are stored safely, machines function reliably, and emergency surgeries are possible at night. Maternal mortality has decreased in regions where wireless power has become consistent. Doctors and nurses are returning to rural posts, confident they can rely on working equipment. Wireless power is not only transforming outcomes, it's restoring dignity to health workers and patients alike. Education is also undergoing a quiet revolution. Classrooms once dark and silent are now lit, connected, and engaging. Students access digital tools, learn coding, and participate in global conversations. Teachers use multimedia content to enhance lessons, making subjects come alive. Attendance has increased in electrified villages, especially among girls. Wireless energy has made education attractive, reliable, and future-focused. In some communities, digital libraries and virtual labs have become a reality. Remote schools are bridging the gap with urban centers through real-time learning. Wireless energy is erasing borders between rich and poor, city and village. The private sector is also thriving. Small businesses that once closed at sunset now operate into the night. Tailors, barbers, welders, and shopkeepers are expanding their services. New industries are emerging around energy-efficient appliances and local grid management. Young people are launching tech ventures and service startups feeding a growing digital economy. In regions once plagued by unemployment, wireless energy has sparked enterprise. Financial inclusion is also rising. With reliable power, mobile money platforms are expanding into rural zones. People can now bank, invest, and insure without traveling miles. Economic resilience is increasing as families diversify income sources and plan for the future. All of this is happening because energy has been decoupled from wires. The implications reach beyond Africa. Other developing regions are watching and learning, from Southeast Asia to Latin America. If Africa proves wireless power can work at scale, it may lead a global shift. The technology could leapfrog traditional infrastructure models everywhere. Africa could become not just a beneficiary of innovation, but a global energy leader. However, Sustaining this momentum requires global support. Investors must view Africa not as a charity case, but as a frontier of innovation. Development banks, climate funds, and venture capital need to rally behind wireless initiatives. The returns are not only financial but humanitarian, environmental, and geopolitical. A stable, powered Africa benefits the world through trade, security, and innovation. Diaspora communities are also playing a key role. Remittances are being pooled to fund village-level energy projects. African engineers abroad are returning home to lead research labs and startups. Global collaboration is enabling local ownership. This is not aid, it's partnership. The cultural impact of wireless energy cannot be overstated. It is shifting narratives from poverty to possibility. Media creators are documenting success stories and amplifying African voices. Wireless energy is becoming part of music, film, 
and literature, symbols of a rising continent. Youth movements are using the technology to campaign for climate justice and innovation. Wireless power has given Africa a new symbol of identity, bold, resilient, and forward-facing. Women, too, are at the forefront of this transformation. In many communities, women lead energy cooperatives and operate receiver units. Their leadership is reducing gender gaps in income, education, and health. Energy is empowerment, and wireless power is making that empowerment tangible. In the long term, Africa's wireless grid could serve as a platform for smart technologies. IoT sensors can monitor agriculture, traffic, and public safety. Drones can be powered mid-flight, expanding logistics and disaster relief capabilities. Smart cities can be built from the ground up with wireless energy as the foundation. Even electric vehicles could one day be charged through the air on highways. The possibilities are vast, limited only by imagination and investment. Artificial intelligence and machine learning are already being used to optimize wireless energy flow. Real-time analytics ensure power is delivered efficiently and fairly. Local control systems empower communities to manage their own energy networks. This decentralization is vital. It reduces dependence and increases resilience. When energy is local and wireless, it cannot be easily disrupted by political instability or sabotage. Africa's wireless grid could become a shield against energy insecurity. And in times of crisis, pandemics, floods, or conflict, mobile transmitters can restore power quickly. This kind of resilience is priceless in a continent often affected by climate extremes. Wireless power can also reduce carbon footprints dramatically. By eliminating diesel generators and encouraging renewable generation, emissions fall sharply. Africa can lead not just in access but in sustainability. A clean, powered Africa is a global climate victory. Already, wireless power is being included in national climate strategies. Carbon credits are being explored to fund installations and maintenance. Green finance is unlocking new streams of capital for expansion. Public-private partnerships are forming to share risks and rewards. The momentum is real and growing, but perhaps the most important outcome is psychological. For the first time in generations, many Africans feel control over their energy future. They are no longer waiting for foreign utilities or NGOs to deliver change. They are building it themselves wirelessly and independently. The shift from dependency to leadership is profound. And it's happening at the speed of light, literally. Africa is not being powered, it is powering itself. And in doing so, it is lighting the way for the world. The dream is now visible. Homes glowing on hilltops, schools lit in the desert, farms buzzing in twilight. Invisible waves of energy, pulsing with possibility, connect people across vast distances. From Cape Town to Cairo, Lagos to Lusaka, the current is flowing. Not in copper lines, but in hope, science, and progress. Africa's wireless grid is more than a technological feat, it is a declaration of independence. From darkness, from poverty, from limits. Says we will not wait. Says we have the tools. Says the future is now and it is ours. Join the revolution. Support the innovators. Share the stories. And believe in the power of Africa. Because Africa is rising wirelessly. And nothing can stop it now.